Learning circles for us are really like an extension. So as an instructor, I teach the technology courses, but there's, I don't know everything about technology. So when we get beyond my scope of what I know and I can teach, learning circles really helps us to expand what people are able to receive at the library without me having to go get trained in a new subject. Um, and it also helps us with our literacy program. We are just now trying out a GED learning circle. So we're using the learning circle to supplement the classes that we have. And we're also using it to promote library resources. So the library pays for a ton of databases already that are underutilized. So it's an option for us to take the information off a database that we already pay for and then promote it and run it as a learning circle. From day one, we're talking about setting goals. So it's, uh, they're already created this pathway uh, from the learning circle to a regular class and hopefully onto job skills or whatever their next steps would be. Uh, that's already in place. So you can see that it's a new motivation. They have, uh, they, they have excitement, which translates to uh, for the facilitator to have excitement and to, to be proud of the accomplishments already. Well, um, again, we can move into uh, topics like civic engagement and public health because you are addressing the specific things that you see in your community. Um, in my community, I see a lot of fragility towards food insecurity and housing insecurity. And knowing the deadlines that the applications are due, you may want to start classes about how to complete applications online, how to um, engage with the internet to get that type of information. And that's not a one-off type of participation because you show an individual one time and they're not gonna be able to consolidate that information of what is available to them. So creating the learning circles in the sense of you're creating a safe space where people can talk to you about the needs that they may have in using technology, in using um, the internet um, to get the to make sure that their needs are met, their everyday needs. Um, we talk about livability in our community, and that's very much um, interrelated with some of the services that the library offers. Um, and when we do the outreaches, we try to to catch that full spectrum um, of partnership with the different organizations, the city and the governmental offices, and understanding what their requirements may be as well will help to um, influence the types of classes that we're offering if we're going to offer civics or immigration or um, you know even English language.